One of my favorite ways to get publicity is through contests, and you've probably seen these things on the news before. This is a great example. That guy's name is Michael Bodan. He's actually a friend of mine. He owns the pest shop in Plano, Texas. He's a uh, exterminator, and about 20 plus years ago, he held a contest where people could send in roaches dressed up as celebrities. Well, this goofy contest ended him up on uh, The Tonight Show with, with Johnny Carson, and he's been milking it ever since. Uh, this is him doing it for the CBS Evening News again just a couple of months ago. This is the annual Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. This is ESPN. Talk about some free publicity for Nathan's Hot Dogs. And this is a, a small town in North Dakota that has this huge buffalo statue. They held a contest, got all over the news, asking people to name the buffalo. So hopefully that gets your creative juices flowing. You can't just call up a newsroom and say, we've opened a business or we've come up with a new widget. Most of the time, it's not very newsworthy. But sometimes if you come up with a contest, something fun, something that the, the media can really latch onto, you can have a mountain of publicity. I hope this made sense, and if there's somebody else in your life who can use this video, I hope you'll pass it along. I'll see you next week. If you take that little flap of skin on a turkey's beak and you flip it back, it looks like the Elvis hairdo. <laughs> it was a great laugh. It was awesome. He is just a live wire. <laughs> That's all I got to say. It's a fantastic speech.